Um, now we move on to XCG5. Um, you know, Dave Glott has been making this stuff, and Dave is the owner of our company. Dave founded this thing out of his garage 25 years ago. Um, Dave was a stick first. Um, he was number three on his college golf team. Um, number one was Rocco Mediate. Number two was Lee Jansen. So Dave was a very good player, and that's one reason why when you sit down in exotics, it looks so good cosmetically, because Dave has that eye of a good player first. So, um, six years ago, you know, we made the best fairway we can golf, and it just blows me away that year after year after year after year, you know, we can still make that claim. Now we're getting more competition. You know, I mean, Adams came out with a fairway wood this year. Um, there'll be some other big companies that are coming out, and here's what I'm seeing out of our competition in fairway woods. Companies are approaching or getting to how hot we make a face. But what I still haven't seen anybody come close to yet is be able to capture the spin rate numbers that we get on the fairway woods. And that's really the combination. Making a hot face is great, but having one that doesn't spin is really the key. Now, right now, like I said, you know, you got this area to here is all titanium. This whole area, in the case of the XCG5, the entire soul's tungsten. You know, those have to be cooked and processed for 24 hours to make that head the way it is. I'm sure there's another way to do it, but up to now, nobody's really come up with the process yet, other than what how deep it is, is, you know, this now, XCG5, is Dave's seventh year of tweaking and improving on, making the best fairway wood six years ago better each year. So, it, you know, they got look, I don't care if they have 32 engineers at their company, they got a little catching up to do. You know, so it'll be interesting. So what have we done different with XCG5 versus XCG4? And thank God we made it this good because there will be some more competition this year. We've got a new proprietary face material that's only going to be on the exotics. It's a new forged beta tie. Whenever we come out with a new face material or a forged, you know, new, basically better material, what are we trying to do? Well, it's a material that's stronger so you can make it thinner so you can make it hotter. That's the only reason why we change materials. It's just, you know, it's got to be thin enough to be durable. But the whole thing is to make that thing just so thin so it's even hotter off the face. So when you go year to year to year to year, some years you're tweaking things, some years you're improving things. Last year's XCG4, 65% of the weight was on that tungsten stolt. This year it's 68%. So that's a tweak, 65 to 68. The biggest point of difference with XCG5 is the new face material. And the other one is the blur shaft, which um, I'm finding already from the demo days I've done with this product, we're just starting to get this product out, um, is the best stock shaft we put in the exotic up to date. And it, you'll find that our, when you freak out our blurs or our rips or our, you know, where everybody's making their stock shafts for the different companies, ours are the closest to spec and tend to be stiffer, you know, than anybody else. So our stiff is, tends to be a real stiff and our R tends to be a real R where so often we're seeing the stiffs getting freaking down to ours and everything just keeps getting softer. People trying to, you know, just create more launch. But at the end of the day, the, the, the spin numbers on the XCG5 are, I mean, I, I was amazed how much better they were than even XCG4. Right at the tail end of XCG4, it made no sense for me to get this in for you guys because we were, XCG5 was coming. Um, I really pushed this hard with the owner was um, getting this lighter, Tour AD shaft in the uh, in the fairway. Okay, so here's the whole premise to this thing. You got a 42 gram shaft now as stock in the fairway. I don't see that being a really great skew for the stiff flex guy. But boy, does it open up a flex like never before for us. A lot of times when we've sold an a flex in the exotic, you know, we moved them down to a four wood because our four wood goes further than everybody else's three wood. But now we can actually take that Aplex guy and get him in a three wood. And because the launch is just immediate. So how I kind of visualize things is, you know, the blur will be our primary stiff option. I'll go through a couple other things on that. I think your R flex will be a mix of the blur and tour AD. And then as you get into A flex, it'll be even more so in this in this tour AD. Okay. I think your biggest thing that you're looking for when you're working with anybody on the rig and in this two shafts is their transition. If they've got kind of that smooth transition, they've got a drink jerk from the top, then they're probably going to be a little bit more of a blur guy. But if they're smooth from the top, then it's worth giving them a try. 
you know, with the, with the Tour AD. And uh, you're going to have both of those in, in R, and this one's primarily going to be the um, your A offering. Okay? And this old, and I'm a low ball hitter, and I get it off the ground easy. But I don't, um, you know, I don't play much golf anymore. And I struggle as golf clubs keep getting longer. So that 11.5 is my new Huckleberry. I mean, I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be playing. That might be my driver the next year. You know, I don't know. But I hit it. it it's long. Wow. It's obnoxiously long. When we were um, testing it at, um, at Hagen, we were getting like uh, 2,600 RPM spin rates off of, um, off of a fairway wood. And what was really ridiculous is we were getting like 1.8 fat, 1.48 smash factors off of toe hits, yeah. which that's that's wow. ridiculous. But yeah, so the that's it, cheating. It is. It's obnoxious. Is I guess the best word for it. So yeah, so there'll be an 11.5 um, XCG5 fairway wood in. So you've got a strong three wood 13, just like we've had. And I guess for lack of a better term, we'll have a uber three wood um, at a, at the 11.5. So yeah. I, I, Wow. Yeah, that, 